There you go. So pick them off. He went right into the seam. He runs the ball. And I got the contain out there. There you go. Huge play by Ramsey right there. He popped me up top. There you go. So just a bad play by him. Game Prometheus, the only YouTube channel out there that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes he breaks down on his channel, so you can see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now I want to go ahead and show you uh, the second part of this 43 under uh, safety uh, blitz three scheme. Uh, you've got a man version of it. You also got uh, a basically zone. I prefer the zone uh, primarily because I just like having the, uh, the coverage is already out there for me. Uh, so uh, with this particular blitz, I can go ahead and use this to create hybrid coverages. Now. Um, a lot of times what happens is opponents are going to go and look at your coverages, they're going to see your shells. But because this coverage is a little bit unique, as you can see here, I've got a defensive tackle falling back in the zone. I've also got the middle linebacker in a deep third. Very highly unusual for people to see that. Now also one of the things that I want to show you too is that you see that these particular defenders all are in, are in gap support. So my safeties are in gap supports. They're coming down, crashing for the run. So I've got nine people in the box who are actually going to go ahead and defend the run for me. Now, uh, as I showed you in the earlier video, the basically set the blitz up is going to look just like this. This is how uh, the, the, uh, the double B gap blitz is going to look. If you have an opponent that starts scrambling out, there's a very fast adjustment. All you have to do is just do QB contain. You do QB contain by hitting your left trigger, as you can see right here, and right bumper, and it actually is going to contain those outside uh, guys, and they're going to go ahead and, and contain um, that that uh, any kind of outside guys that like to roll out, and they're going to come in and pressure that quarterback really quick. So if you got a guy that likes to roll out, do stick plays, or wait for crossing routes, that's a good adjustment you could do if you want to try to hit him with a blitz. Now, uh, with this particular play, once again, uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to shift your defensive line off to the left, you're going to shift your linebackers off to the right, and this is the look that you're going to give to your opponent. So what I like to do with this is I, I actually like to go ahead and play around the coverage a little bit. So I can go ahead and take Smith, put him on a flat. Uh, I could take uh, my other safety, put him on a, um, basically on a route right here, or I put him on a, on a uh, yellow route, and then just defend over the middle. So this is a good way to go ahead and just confuse your opponent with different types of reads. So if he starts attacking the flat from different ways, you've got a cloud coverage off the left. You've got guys going over to the right. Now, another thing that's very popular in the line, especially with the most elite players out there, is they do cross coverage. For you guys that are not familiar with cross coverage, let me go ahead and describe it. Basically, what you're doing is you're manning up uh, one of your defenders on a defender across the field. And the reason why you want to do this is because it actually takes away a lot of the crossing routes that a lot of people use. So uh, in this particular play by the offense, it is, it is actually, it's going to be mesh is going to be the particular play. So this is Mesh, and Hill and, and Kelsey are going to be basically eating up my coverage. But because I've actually got crossing routes by my safeties, they're going to go ahead and take away those crossing routes that usually open up over the middle of the field. So this is a good way to go ahead and just catch your opponent off guard, uh, just so he's just he doesn't know where he's going to go and read. You can see a lot of people are going to be watching these crossing routes and waiting for it. But you can see this area's got four defenders. He doesn't know where he's going to go. He's got three defenders over here, too, taking away these, these reads. Those flats are basically dead. Uh, he's going to have to take those shots up top. Uh, those corner routes are going to basically be the things he's going to have to do um, uh, to try to defend against you. So that's what's one of the things you have to take in consideration when it comes to watching these plays is just taking away those crossing routes. This is a very good play uh, play to go ahead and just play uh, with your opponent's mind. If he starts basically using Kelsey too much, you can go ahead and attack him that way. Uh, it, you're going to go ahead and stop that run support, and you can essentially just read the middle of the field with your middle linebacker. So, um, as you can, what I want, what I recommend to do, if you're new to my channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe and take a look at all my video content. I'm actually going to show you this scheme live against opponents. Uh, you actually can see it firsthand on how opponents adapt to it, or if I catch them off guard on um, different adjustments that I make. One other thing too I want to talk about the, the 43 is the 43 does come up with another base blitz that you can you can access in any one of these plays. So Edge Sting is a very popular blitz that's been utilized but you can access this in any other play. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at cover two. All right, so it does come with another play that you can actually go ahead and utilize, it's, it, which is very, very easy to set up. All you're really going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your defensive line and shift them off to the left, uh, and then crash your defensive line down or slant them in, and then blitz your outside left of screen linebacker, your right, right, of, uh, right linebacker, which would be your left of screen linebacker. You blitz them down. You can do a lot of this globally, and what happens is she got a, he should get a free release in too, and then you're going to be throwing them with cover two coverage or cover three coverage or whatever. It's just going to basically catch him, catch him off guard. So that's, it's, it's good to be able to have access to these type of blitzes that your, your opponent's not used to be used to seeing. If you really want to get aggressive, you can do the same thing um, with uh, with the coverages. Uh, you can go ahead and blitz them in a linebacker and go with the coverage right here. Uh, that actually essentially give them the same kind of a look. You still get that inside linebacker uh, attack if you want to do that. So if you guys are new to my channel um, and you like these type of tips, please go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see this in action against live opponents, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and take a look at the Minnesota th series. You're going to see me start using this, this scheme, this 43 under safety blitz three scheme uh, in my gameplay. And I really throw my opponents off with their reads and have a hard time with it. And it's great against the run. So to my subscribers, so thank you for your support. And until next time.